this video is for a service bulletin for a Honda 2012 Odyssey um, from VIN number, it affects VIN number 5FNRL5HCB00001 through 5FNRL5HCB08. 088499. Um, the issue that we're having with the popping, knocking, or creaking in the front while turning at low speeds. I noticed this the other day whenever a uh, vehicle we were turning to a parking spot or a parking lot and the driver's side front tire sounded like it was kind of a popping sound uh, at really low speed. So I looked it up and um, seems to be that there is some grease that needs to be applied to the top of the damper body on the strut itself. So we're going to go through that whole process. There actually is a service bulletin by Honda that was put out and I'll put links to the uh, service bulletin in, in the video description below and that way you can be able to print it out direct from Honda or uh, a couple of the other sites to follow along as well. Um, so let's get started. Alright so a couple of things that we're going to need for this uh, service bulletin to accomplish. Um, either be a lift, a vehicle lift, to get the car, the, the van off the ground, or either get a jack. We'll just do one tire at a time because I don't have a vehicle lift in my garage, in my house, or in the driveway. So we're going to use the good old shade tree way here and use a, a floor jack. Uh, the current one I'm using is a two and a quarter ton hydraulic floor lift or floor jack, so it's more than enough for what we need today. Um, suggest using some uh, nitrile gloves to help keep the grease off your fingers, make the cleanup a little easier. Um, maybe a shop rag or two to help remove any grease that's currently on the uh, damper body. And then the actual grease itself, uh, the part number uh, for the grease is 4140A7. And again, it references that in the uh, service bulletin. So we're going to go ahead and get started and see what we can get done. All right, so when lifting up, we're gonna start with the passenger side front. Um, when doing this, we don't actually have to take off the uh, wheel or anything. We'll be able to get to everything that we need to uh, with the wheel still attached to the vehicle. So when you attack, when you set your jack underneath the vehicle, make sure that it goes to the mount, the uh, jack jacking point right there into the front. And we're gonna go ahead and bring it up to just where the, the pressure has been relieved, to all, relieved from the tires and that the tire is off the ground a little bit to allow the strut to fully expand and then we'll be able to get to where we need to get to. As you can see we're starting to get a little bit of damp right there. The tires are starting to come off, the tire itself is starting to come off the ground a little bit. Now we are fully off the ground. And we can start looking at the inside of the wheel well here. So if you notice right here, you have the strut. And you have the little boot right here. For this right here, we'll have to pull this up to expose the top of the damper. up, slide it up, that way, all right, as you can see, right here at the top is where, around the piston, is where we want to apply the grease. So before we start to do it, we'll take a shop rag, wipe off any of the ex, um, excess from the old that's worn out or has been done with and then we'll apply the new grease just around the outside edge. We don't want to top or coat the rod at all. So you want to coat just the surface around the top of it there. And then from that point, we'll go ahead and reinstall this boot cover here. All right, so I have applied the grease all the way around the top of the surface of the dampening piece here and I'm going to reinstall this boot by 
sliding it back down. And you'll see the little lips here will go just around the boot. It's reattached. So that's it. That's all you got to do. And then we'll go ahead and lower the vehicle. Now remember when lowering your vehicle, you don't want to drop all of the weight at one time. So be very careful when you bring the pressure off of the jack just to ease the vehicle down so that we're not stressing anything out. All right, jack is fully compressed. Pull it out and that's it. So we'll do a repeat on the driver's side uh, front and then we'll be done with our service bulletin. That's how you do it. No more popping.